On Monday, the Swedish military conducted the first ever firing of the Robot System 23, previously known as the Bofors Advanced Missile System Evaluation, or BAMSI. Major General Frederick Stahlberg, the deputy head of operations management, stated that they chose to demonstrate their abilities to their adversaries by conducting the test on the island of Gotland. Brigadier General Anders Svensson, the deputy army commander, expressed his pride in the professionalism of the soldiers and officers as well as the world-class technology developed by Sweden's industry that made the successful firing possible. The Robot System 23 is an air defense system that was developed in the 1990 and became operational in the early 2000s. The Fire Unit 23 is the component of the system responsible for launching the anti-aircraft missile. It is a robot carriage that can be towed by any vehicle. The carriage has a launcher with six missiles that are ready to be fired and a 26-foot high mast with a fire control radar and IR camera. The fire unit has enough room for the commander and gunner inside the carriage and can be connected to the reconnaissance radar 90 or function autonomously if necessary. Although a unit was trained at the Air Defense Regiment in Halmstad, it was not integrated into the Swedish Armed Forces operational structure at the time and its equipment was placed in the material reserve. However, it has been reactivated and deployed on Gotland. The recent missile firing took place at the Tofta shooting range with collaboration from various parties, and the target was successfully shot down by the Robot 23 fire unit after being detected by reconnaissance radar 90. The Robot 23 missile was launched from its towed launch trailer to protect the Swedish island of Gotland in the Baltic Sea. It demonstrated the regiment's ability to shoot down enemy and other aircraft, which is the primary responsibility of the Robot 23 missile. This confirms the island's strengthened anti-aircraft defense and contributes to building up its air defense capability. Given the deteriorating security situation, enhancing the anti-aircraft capability has become a priority for the Air Defense Regiment. Colonel Mikael Beck, the head of the Air Defense Regiment, stated that confirming the ability to defend and assert the island and its airspace is crucial in the current world situation. He also emphasized that the successful outcome of the test was the result of joint efforts and a shared goal of strengthening the defense of Gotland. Similarly, Colonel Magnus Freikval, the head of Gotland's regiment and battle group Gotland, stressed the importance of having a credible anti-aircraft capability to defend the island and deter potential attackers. He expressed his gratitude to the Air Defense Regiment, the Armed Forces Material Works, and Saab for their contributions to strengthening the island's defense capability. Furthermore, the gunners and combat leaders who completed their military service at the Air Defense Regiment in Halmstad during the 2021-2022 academic year expressed satisfaction with their training after being called up for their first war unit exercise on Gotland. After receiving a training on the Robot System 23, they become part of the fire unit and operate the system during the Swedish Armed Forces' first missile firing exercise. A shooter showed his excitement in working with a modern and up-to-date system and that everything was functioning properly. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.